could work? Yeah, I think we got a lot of a lot of possibilities in our, in our sub packages. Uh, you know, uh, just finding the right combination. We're still working working on that, but uh, you know, we have a lot of options of guys that. Uh, are fighting to, to, you know, all of them want to get sacked, so they all want to be on the field on third down. So, <laughs> right. so they all fighting to, to be a part of our sub package groups, and so, um, which makes it fun as a coach because you have a lot of competition that makes everybody better. So, so we got, you know, we can go with three of them, four of them, you know, and we'll, we'll see, you know, we'll see uh, at the end who, who ends up being the guy that we need. Is the game slowing down at all yet for Toby? Yeah, I think Toby's getting, you know, Toby's played. You know, he's played big 12 games. So, you know, that part is not, I'm not worried about. It's just playing him at the line of scrimmage. That's where he has, you know, he doesn't have the experience. And I think he's really getting, becoming uh, more comfortable and, and getting better with, uh, you know, playing it in the line of scrimmage for us. Did he reach the kind of the weight that you like him at there? I think what he did a good job. He did. He, he reached his goal weight. He really he reached his goal weight. Uh, reporting and uh, reporting reporting to camp. And so he was he was fired up about that, you know. So but yeah, he did. He did a good job. I know you got some guys still kind of trying to figure it out because they're not proven necessarily yet. But in terms of like just upside and potential, has this kind of been the most intriguing unit you've had? You know what? I t this has been. Um, this has been probably the the most depth that yeah. I've had in, in a long time, uh, you know. Uh, but uh, they all have a couple of them have the same physical attributes and skill set. But then, then, but I, we got a lot of diverse skill set, you know. Um, you know, like Ryan Davis is a good pass rusher, and he's a good player. He plays extremely hard. He plays like Felix. He plays with a great motor. Um, and then you have Jordan Allen, who is doesn't know how strong he he's a strong kid, but he doesn't know how strong he is, and he can and he can run, and he can he's his, he's improved his pass rushing ability. Then you have Toby, who's probably a pass rush specialist who can play the he's explosive enough to play the run. And then you got Chidi, who can play inside outside, um, and you got uh, Travis Bates, who's a really Good strong side defensive end for us, but he's also a really good interior pass rusher for us. So you got a lot of different. You got Mott, who's can do, who's done it all, who can do it all. And you got Cody, who's a, who's the anchor, the strong guy for us, you know. And so you, we got a, a lot of different guys. As coaches, we just got to find the right rotation and and get those guys on the field where they can help us be successful. That was my next question: Is the challenge kind of moving? Those chess pieces around and finding the right distribution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that as, as as a co as coaches, that's going to be that's going to be uh, our responsibility to find a way to get those guys uh, on the field to help us be successful. Are you at the point of camp where you're trying to hone in on that already, or is that further down the line? We're still we're still in progress. We're still uh, trying to figure figure out yeah. those pieces. Yeah. Okay. Well,